Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a detailed look at the 2006 Mazda 3S hatchback. And this is going to be a detailed, in-depth review of the Mazda 3. We'll start up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior as well as exterior. And before we begin, I'd like to extend a big thanks and special shout out to Brandon Reeves Auto World located in Monroe, North Carolina for allowing me to come out and film the 2006 Mazda 3 hatchback. And so, without further ado, let's get and start her up, let her run. The exterior color is known as sunlight silver and features a very unique black and red cloth interior. Very nice. The power assist rack and pinion steering of the Mazda 3 is nice and firm, delightfully tight, sporty feel. It's also fully leather wrapped in a three spoke design with perforations coming in across the sides and your multifunction controls across three to nine. As far as the gearbox, depending on your trim levels, you can choose on well, a couple different transmissions. For one, the base I model comes with either a four speed automatic or a five speed manual. This S model comes with an upgraded five speed automatic with manual shiftability. And so we're gonna flip on the headlamps, fog lamps, as well as the hazards. The driver's side window's fully automatic. And we're gonna check out the exterior, shall we? The Mazda 3, now entering its third generation, first at the market for 2004 as a successor to the widely popular protege. The 3, like its predecessor, capitalized on Mazda's fun-to-drive nature, but packaged it into a more refined and stylish vehicle. It rides on Ford's global C1 platform, shared at the time with the current generation Ford Focus and Volvo S40. The benefit was a substantial 40% increase in body stiffness, helping enhance response with the standard electrohydraulic steering. Not to mention increased agility with an all-new multi-link rear suspension, similar to the one found in the larger Mazda 6. The four designed E-Link setup consists of four locating links per wheel and anti-roll bar with coil springs. The springs are actually positioned inboard of the shock absorbers to help maximize cargo space in the hatch. Available as both a traditional sedan and sporty hatchback, the 3 features increased dimensions for a larger footprint. Compared to the Protégé, the 3 is 6.1 inches longer for the hatchback, 2 inches wider with the same height, and a 1.1 inch increase in wheelbase. Front and rear track also widens marginally. Because it is a larger car, it also gains about 162 pounds, but it also has more power to help counterbalance it. As far as the power plants, the US spec cars came with two choices, a base 2 liter or upgraded 2.3 liter 4 cylinder borrowed from the Mazda 6. Later in 2007, the Mazda Speed 3 was introduced and featured a turbocharged power plant. They both produce respectable power with base engines producing 18 horsepower more than the top tier protege offering. What the Mazda 3 does really well is blends higher class styling and build techniques into a relatively value priced vehicle. Over the years there were a few revisions in the steering, suspension and engines, but overall styling remained the same aside from a few fascia updates and new LED tail lamps for 2007. 
But overall, the three came pretty well equipped on the factory and had a bunch of tasteful options including xenon headlamps, heated leather seats, a Bose audio system, DVD-based navigation system, and even choices of black and red or black and blue cloth upholstery. ABS and a sunroof as well as side impact and curtain airbags were also available. While model choices and options weren't widely available for the earlier Mazda 3s, after the 2007 revisions and new trim levels, it started to become quite popular as far as the customizability and the range of features and options you can tack onto the 3. Silver painted 5 spokes 17 by 6.5 inch alloys were standard on the 3 and came wrapped in 20550 all season tires. Stopping power is provided by ventilated 11.8 by 1 inch vented analog disc brakes in front with 11 by 0.4 inch solid discs in the rear, bringing it to a stop from 60 miles an hour and an average of 120 feet. As far as the suspension, it's fully independent with struts in front and a multi-link rear with coil springs as well as anti-roll bars. Overall length is 176.6 inches with a width of 69.1 inches and a height of 57.7 inches. Total curb weight is 2,957 pounds. Like I said, this 3 features the upgraded 2.3 liter all aluminum dual overhead cam 16 valve 4 cylinder with port fuel injection, variable valve timing, and a 9.7 to 1 compression ratio. It produces 160 horsepower at 6500 rpm and 150 pound feet of torque at 4500 rpm with a red line of 7100 rpm. This translates to 0 to 60 times of 7.4 seconds and quarter mile times of 16 seconds at 87 miles an hour. Top speed is governed to 118 miles an hour. As far as fuel economy, with a 14.5 gallon tank running on regular gas, expect a miles per gallon rating of 24 city, 29 highway for the automatic transmission, and 25 city, 32 highway for the manual. Another category that Mazda 3 does well in is interior fit and finish. Sure, there is some hard plastic found throughout, but it's one of the most high quality, sporty looking interiors in its class for the day. The doors do have soft touch material and the touch points with cloth midsections. All of your electric accessories are located on the door with storage pocket down below and silver accented speaker grills. Mazda really went all out, giving it a modern, fresh look with the revised colors, a trick center stack, and attractive gauges. The seats themselves, while no road huggers, have an impressive level of comfort and support with manual adjustment including height and lumbar. Attention to detail is also pretty cool with the red or blue accenting. Like I said, also optional are side impact as well as curtain airbags, adjustable headrests and adjustable seat belts. Down below, you have logoed floor mats with your fuel cap release, a little storage in the lower portion of the dash, and a manually adjusting steering wheel. With circular air vents that complement the speedometer cluster. So let's go ahead and see what she sounds. The overall layout was pretty awesome looking when it first came out. Everything's pretty user friendly and pleasing to the person who enjoys a dose of sport. Everything for the most part is backlit red with LED lights that come on with the radio knob. When you're taking a closer look, you'll see why the 3 was praised so highly for its upscale looking interior for the price point. And while an AM FM CD player was standard in all the cars, base model cars came with a 4 speaker audio system, while this particular model features the upgraded 6 speaker audio system. 
steering wheel mounted audio controls were also standard for all the different models, as well as an auxiliary input for MP3 devices in the later model years. The cool curving pattern of the doors blend into the dash where you have a silver accent stripe with the digital display of the radio in the middle. Your visors with standard vanity mirrors, as well as a manually dimming rear view mirror. In the top stack you have your interior illumination as well as reading lamps. As far as the radio, everything conveniently shows up in the little digital display there with your clock, radio station or song that you're currently on as well as temperature. You also have a little control panel there for the different modes including satellite radio and different media options for your MP3 player. Your clock as well as setting the clock in your in-dash CD drive located down below. In the middle are your different radio modes including your preset stations, tune, going between the different radio texts as well as your audio controls with various equalizer settings. Down below the radio, you also have your simple climate control with your fan speed in the middle, temperature off to the far right, recycling, vent, AC, and free or defrost at the bottom, as well as your different zones to the far left. Power outlet, as well as lighter, and a few storage trays with an extra ashtray in the bottom there. Two cup holders underneath the flap there next to your e brake, and the padded center console with a good amount of storage down below, and it's also two tiers, so you have a small storage tray on top. As far as the steering wheel and instrumentation cluster, you have your intermittent wipers, lighting, radio controls, as well as cruise control on the far right. The cool speedometer cluster, accented in red, is also highlighted by three large pods with satin silver trim. Speedometer, tachometer, vehicle temperature, and fuel with your odometer and trip computer. Your pod style air vents, similar to what you would find in a Miata, are fully adjustable, and your interior lighting dimmer is located below. Check out the back seat. Back seat room is also really good. With soft seats. Simple styling across the door panel. And the same red cloth accenting. If you want to fold down the rear seat for better practicality, push that button and flip it down. It's as simple as that and opens up your cargo space. Code hook located up top. and rear illumination. Side curtain airbags for the rear passengers and some little quarter windows for better visibility. So we're gonna check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Now the best thing about a hatchback is its immense amount of cargo space and versatility, able to store larger items than you would typically be able to do in a regular four-door sedan. When you open up the hatch of the Mazda 3 and have the rear seats up, you have about 17 cubic feet of cargo space. When you fold the seats down, it expands to a whopping 31 cubic feet of cargo space, not too bad for this particular vehicle class. It's also pretty cool that the 3 also has these trick storage compartments underneath there. One flap towards the front and another one towards the back for maximum cargo versatility. There's also some cargo anchors to keep everything nice and tied down.
manual passenger seat. The glove box is also enormous. You can practically stick your whole arm in there or fit a small laptop. When the Mazda 3 was introduced, it raised the bar for Mazda once again, continuing the philosophy of building fun, affordable cars that offered a level of quality and technology not typically seen in the class. It is no wonder why this remains so popular to this day. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this detailed look at the 2006 Mazda 3S hatchback. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.